want to be your own boss. So, okay, how, how about we just do a poll? How many people want to pursue your own passion? Raise your hand. Okay, and you can answer this multiple times. How about be your own boss? Oh, that one I may not come okay, back. that number one is pursue passion. Okay. Got an opportunity presented itself. Okay, all right, all right. You're not satisfied with corporate America. <laughs> Two hands. Yeah. Superstar. Okay. Well, I'm sorry, superwoman. Okay. Um, <laughs> and or, you know, you kind of got laid off, right side to the left, to the right, to the left, to the left. Put all your stuff on the bed, on the porch, to the left. Nobody got laid off. Yeah. That happened to me. That's messed up, man. <laughs> it's not a good feeling, is it? No, it was a good feeling. Those can be challenges. So now, did you know, did you know that women-owned businesses are 11.6 million? We got it going on. We generate 1.7 trillion in sales. We probably can help, you know, our person who's babysitting in the office. I mean, I'm sorry. We could help our president with this because 1.7 trillion, we're generating a lot of money and, and then my boss, he's my boss too, by the way. I work for the government, sorry, so. I'm not supposed to say that. Okay. <laughs> but I wanted to, on here also, I believe now, because I can't see this thing, the age range, so the race. So we make up more than half collectively. African Americans and Caucasians make up more than half of women-owned businesses. That's power. That's power. When we looked at the stats that showed, according to men, only with a high school diploma, 35% of men enter business. Only 28 for women. So we jump it down to, let's just say, a bachelor's degree is even. We're on even keel. We're on even keel. But overall, we are still making an impact in a force. One point, what was it, seven trillion? Mm -hmm. That's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. We employ nine million people. That's a lot of people. I know, right? When you start looking at the facts, you're like, oh. See, because I was always told you gotta know your facts. You don't just go and do stuff not just to do stuff without knowing what you know, right? You gotta know your facts, ladies. You gotta see where you fit. Cause I saw some of you going, I want a piece of that, right? I want a piece of that. Again, oh, I got it right here in front of me. <laughs> so, the five, top five small business industries, if you didn't know this, if not, figure out how you can fit in here. Health and beauty fitness, that's number one. Number two, food and restaurant. Number three, business services. And I've met some people in here that were doing business services type of um, businesses. Number four, general retail. And number five, education. And I heard some trainers, the trainer in here too. So we are in the top five. And if you're not, try to figure out how to make your business fit <laughs> in that top five. Okay, so here's some seven, seven challenges. I love this quote, said a successful woman is one who can build a fine foundation with the bricks others have thrown at her. Who had bricks thrown at them? Everybody mm -hmm. had two hands up, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. foot up. Yep. <laughs> okay, balancing family time. That's like number one. That's like number one. So in order for me to spend time with my daughter, I had to drag her with me and make it work. <laughs> <laughs> Shh, don't film that. <laughs> limited funding. I, I wish I had unlimited funding, but the reality is we have limited funding. Why is that? Why do you think? Who has, lim who has funding issues? Why? 
business labs. It's all your hands they do. Between you two. Funding. Why is that a challenge? Okay. Okay. How about okay, now it's going it's going to connect to something. Hold on to that nugget. Lack of support system. How many people looked at you cross out like you had 20 heads on your head when you told them you was about to do this business? Oh yeah. When you're about to take the stuff out and leap out on faith. And everybody looked at you cross out, but you got a good government job. Mm -hmm. You've been working there for you, you better get your pension and stop. You better stop playing. You better leave me alone. This is what I feel like I need to do. We always talk about that your passion, right? So if you're not passionate with where you're at, and, and it's so funny, where, where, where my sister at? There we go. Hey, yeah, you. She said, she told me. <laughs> oh, me? Yeah. I'm <laughs> looking around. <laughs> because I said, you know, I got to keep my solid investor happy. You know, but basically by doing my job, right? She said, oh, no. no that's your client. I said, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm offering them a service of yeah. all my superwomanness. <laughs> all right, so meet team expectations. What do you think that means? That it fills up on purpose. What do you think that means? It almost ties into the limited funding. Yes, ma'am. Meeting expectations. I mean, your family have expectations. Your everybody got expect you to do something. Stop. You're thinking like. A parent, you're thinking like a person who has a family. You need to think like a businesswoman. What are the expectations? I have a good job. I want you to. What job? You're a business owner. Yes. What job? Don't you work for yourself? I'm sorry, I'm just mad. I can mess with her. I love her. So, but no, seriously. You see, you see, when you guys answer all the questions, it you you're already thinking like I'm a mom that just and I'm a parent, which you are, because I am too. But I just. 